Okay. Anyone who knows me and my dogs knows my mantra is for the dogs to learn to do nothing, <laughs> which might sound ridiculous, but they're busy dogs. They're always wanting to be into things and they have to learn, particularly if they're going to be out working in the field, that there's a huge amount of time they do nothing. And if they learn that, they're far less likely to whine. So they just chill out. Um, eventually they chill out. So the start of all of that is a sit stay. Simple, it seems quite difficult if you're in a hurry because the dog has got to, as with all things, slowly build up to being left maybe for 10 minutes in a field when you're not in sight. I mean, that's not something in practice you'd ever really want to do, but they need to be able to do that and you need to be confident in them and not having to eyeball them all the time or repeat your signals. So carrot, heel, come on, good girl. So I start, sit, sit, by sitting them up in an area where it's easy. That is not on, gr sit. There's a lot of flies here, she's getting bitten. Try and keep them off the grass to start with. They don't creep about then. Carrot, sit. And I'm gonna stay in sight. When you first leave your dog right at the beginning, you wouldn't turn your back on her, but I can turn my back on her now, so long as, um, you know, I don't go too far. Now, I don't vex about them laying down. If you're to shoot and you've told your dog to stay, trust me, if there's game falling, they will sit up so that they can see. Come here. Lead on. Now, sit. Sit. And leave her. Don't repeat the sit command when you're away from her. If you try and correct her from a distance, she'll always creep. If she goes wrong, you've got to go back to her, however inconvenient it is. If you've gone over a gate or you've moved on and you see her move, don't pip her up from a distance. Go back to her, be sharp in your correction and leave her again. Very good, very good girl, very good. Sit. It's a really good idea as well to go back to her, praise her and leave her again. You never want them to anticipate you know, when you walk back, suddenly it's, you know, lessons finished, they're bouncing about and they wander off. They don't know what's coming next. It's really common for her to lay down. She's not laying down because she's on some dirt rather than the grass. I'll show you what I mean. Heel, come. Carrot, sit, sit, sit. I never bother with different stay or wait commands. As far as I'm concerned, the dog's been told to sit. It does nothing else until it has the next command. So this business of telling it to stay if you're coming back or wait if you're not coming back, you know, there's all sorts of seemingly complicated differences. Sit is all they need to learn. And they don't speak our language. The less words you use, the better. But while I'm talking, you can see what she's done. She's pretty inattentive, but she does know she's not to move, but she will if she's left any length of time, drag herself around. You know, she's nine months. I do cut them a bit of slack, so long as she doesn't get up and wander off um, and she stays put, it's kind of good enough. And as you move away, what you want the dog to do is to start eyeballing you and watching you. And if they twist round in position so they can see you, don't tell them off, that's really good to have them caring about where you are and wanting to keep an eye on you. And I wouldn't be surprised if I go out of sight if she sits up and I'm gonna try that. So I'm gonna wander off to the left here. And because she's young, I'm gonna sit because I do want her to achieve. And there, she's eyeballing me now, and that's very good. You know, she's a young dog. I don't go out of sight very much at all. I've just started doing it, and I'm happy with that. And you see, she hasn't gone anywhere. If I get onto her and make her sit, 
It's another thing that I've got to nag her about. And with young dogs, you do not want to become a nag and they get to hate the discipline. So again, it's keeping that balance. This wouldn't be good enough for some people, but it is good enough for me. She hasn't moved.